January 28th, 2022, day one of the Madden Bowl, a 14 player single elimination bracket featuring the best pro players in the world who are competing for a prize pool of $1 million. With so much at stake, you would expect these guys to show up with unique out of the box schemes that no one had ever seen before. But instead, we got gun bunch, gun bunch, gun bunch, gun bunch, gun bunch offset, gun bunch offset. A little bit of a mirror match here. Both guys in that bunch offset. Gun bunch and gun bunch offset dominated the 2022 Madden Bowl with 10 of the 14 players using some variation of gun bunch as part of their offensive scheme. And that doesn't even include the countless other prolific Madden pros who exclusively run gun bunch on offense. So why don't we see more variety among pro offensive schemes? What is it about these schemes that makes nearly every pro player use them out of the 290 different formations that Madden has to offer. It turns out there are three main reasons for this gun bunch obsession, but to truly understand these reasons, we have to follow the Madden Bowl journeys of two close friends who found themselves on a collision course in their quest for Madden greatness. This is Henry. He entered the Madden Bowl as the number one seed after his wildly successful season that included making the semifinals of the Ultimate Thanksgiving Tournament and winning the Ultimate Wildcard Tournament, earning himself over $100,000 along the way. His number one seed gave him a first round bye, so in the second round, he squared off against experienced Madden pro Don't Care About Ice, who had just put on an impressive defensive showing in his round one matchup versus Mr. Football 88. While Henry's offense was mostly unstoppable, there was one play on his first drive that demonstrates the first main reason that the pros love Gun Bunch so much and that reason is pass protection. Now, Madden pros ask three questions when evaluating whether a formation is ideal for pass blocking. Number one, is it a shotgun formation? The reality in Madden 22 is that running backs in under center and pistol formations have major struggles when it comes to identifying blitzers, and therefore, you cannot build a scheme that depends on them making their blocks consistently. Number two, can you block the tight end? In case you didn't know, you can only put the tight end in a blocking assignment if he's lined up shoulder to shoulder with the rest of the offensive line. Formations where you can't block the tight end leave you extremely exposed off of both edges so the pros avoid these formations as much as possible. And number three are the tight end and running back lined up on opposite sides. Having the tight end on one side and the running back on the other means that you can add extra pass protection to either side without having to use motion. Now on Henry's first drive of the game, we see him take a conservative approach versus Ice's 3-3-5 wide defense and block his tight end for this first and 10 play Call. Even though Ice only ends up sending three rushers, the blocking tight end played a huge role in securing the edge and giving Henry plenty of time to deliver a strike to his corner route. Henry's willingness to keep an extra blocker in prevented Ice from blitzing for most of the game, and it allowed Henry to move the ball up and down the field with ease. Now, while Henry was taking care of business versus Ice, on the other side of the bracket, another young Madden pro found himself with one of the toughest first round matchups imaginable. This is Wesley, one of the best Madden players players in the world, but for this first round game, he found himself in an extremely tight battle versus Joke, the 2020 Madden Bowl champion. Needing to find creative ways to move the ball, Wesley started utilizing the second major reason that the pros love Gun Bunch so much, and that is flipping the play. Thanks to a unique quirk with Gun Bunch, flipping the play allows you to build unique route combos that aren't possible anywhere else in the game. We can see Wesley use this exact trick in his game versus Joke on his opening drive of the second half. When he comes out of the huddle, he uses Slot Apprentice to put his outside bunch receiver on a crosser and then flips the play so that the receiver on the crosser moves out to the outside receiver spot. The crosser from the outside is lethal because it'll get over every zone drop in the game and Wesley is able to complete the tough pass for a humongous 43-yard gain. This type of creativity ultimately helped Wesley pull out the tough win versus Joke, sending him on to the second round. Now jumping back to Henry, his next game was the semifinal matchup versus Ash and this is where we start to understand the single biggest reason that the pros use Gun Bunch and Gun Bunch Offset, which is the insane money plays that you can't find in any other formation. Now, out of those money plays, there are three that Henry and Wesley used over and over and over again. And in Henry's game versus Astro, none of these plays was bigger than verticals. Verticals is one of the most unguardable plays in Madden 22, primarily because of this wheel route from the tight end and the deep crosser from the middle bunch receiver. When you also add a wheel route from the running back, the user is left completely helpless and has no idea which route to cover. You can see this insane route combo in action on Henry's first drive versus Astro when he
when he hits the tight end wheel route twice for huge gains and then follows it up by hitting the crosser over the middle for the easy touchdown. Fast forward to just over a minute left in the game and Henry is still using verticals. In this case, blocking the tight end to give himself extra time to hit the deep crosser for a 35 yard gain. And then just a few plays later, hitting the crosser again over the middle to tie the game with just 12 seconds left. These insanely clutch moments using verticals carried Henry to an overtime win, which punched his ticket to the Madden Bowl Finals. Now going back to Wesley, he found himself in another hell game, this time versus Noah up next, who is the number two seed in the tournament. Noah opened the game with an easy scoring drive, and so looking for a strong answer, Wesley turned to the second big money play of Gun Bunch, which is Z Spot and Go. Now you may recognize this as the play we looked at earlier, where Henry blocked his tight end and threw to his corner route, and that's because both Henry and Wesley were using the setup all tournament long. The adjustments are to put the solo receiver on a hot routed post, put the running back on a wheel, block the tight end, and just before snapping the ball, motion out the stop and go route from the outside bunch receiver. As we saw with Henry, against zone coverage, the stop and go route will pull zones down enough to get the corner route open along the sideline. In Wesley's case, this route combo proved it can destroy man coverage as well, and even though Noah had the safety manned up on the solo receiver, it had no chance of guarding the post, which Wesley hit for the easy touchdown. Wesley fought hard all game and came up with a clutch defensive stop in the fourth quarter to bring down Noah and then picked up a decisive win versus John Beast in the semifinals, setting the stage for a Henry versus Wesley championship game. Having spent hundreds of hours playing against each other, their normal setups that got them to this point were way less effective and they each were going to have to dig deep into their bag of tricks if they wanted to be crowned the Madden Bowl champion. After a fairly low scoring first half, on his first drive of the second half, Wesley pulled out the third and final money play, which is halfback cross screen. Now you may be wondering why a halfback screen is considered a money play, and that's because this route right here. The fade route from the outside bunch receiver is one of the best routes in the game at annihilating cover two shells, which had quickly become both players' favorite defense for slowing down all of these gun bunch setups. All Wesley had to do was pass lead it to the outside, and in just one play, he was already inside the 10 yard line, which set him up for another touchdown. Just a few plays later, Henry ran his own halfback cross screen for a 65 yard touchdown pass, forcing both players to get out of their cover two defenses. The game ended up being an all time classic, and it fittingly came down to one final drive. With just eight seconds left, Henry went back to verticals, his favorite clutch time play, and by putting the running back on a streak, it held Wesley's user in the middle of the field just long enough that Henry was able to laser in a high ball bullet pass to the crossing route. His receiver came down with it, securing Henry the win, an extra $250,000, and a little piece of Madden immortality. Now, even though the pros love Gun Bunch, there are so many other explosive offensive schemes out there, so for a breakdown of one of my favorites, I definitely recommend checking out this video on how TD Barrett built the best offense in Madden 22.